welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with a cat's plate it is cat's flower 016 and this is how it looks so what i'm going to do so always i'm going to take off this um oh there's two of them on here you know i keep ordering new ones of these and they keep refunding me. Maybe they're out. Then you would think they would take it off the site. I also have some um, nails prepared. I just bun did a bunch of hollow ones of different colors. Because, yep, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I just figured they were kind of pastel-ish. And I know I'm going to do a lot of reverse stamping with this plate. So... Basically, it's just like cameras and microphones. Oh, let me get it in the shot. Um, microphones and like just a bunch of different objects with um, flowers and leaves around it. Okay, you know what? I took a good look at that one I just did, the uh, second one, and I don't really like how I um, how it came out. So maybe I'll do a different one for the moment. I'll do this one right here <clears throat> this tape deck one yeah it's probably because my polish is starting to go towards the end maybe I'll have to keep it upside down okay so that's how that one came out much better so let me color these in and I will be right back okay so I'm back and I colored both of our images in. So here's that one. And let me get it the right way. Here's how it came out. Hopefully you can see. I'm sorry. I always pull everything over to the right. I don't know why I do that. And then let me see here. And then there's that one, and here's how it came out painted. I've already put some foil glue on these two tips right here. So what I'm going to do is stamp. I know the whole image is not going to fit on here, but I'm going to try to get most of it. Oh, really sticking in there. It came off. There we go. So, then we'll make it nice and shiny. But here's how that one came out. The tape deck with the, um, or the cassette tape, I'm sorry. Not the tape deck. The cassette tape with the, um, flowers. And next, we got the camera. Oops. With these flowers. Let's try to get this one on here. Okay, now here's the camera with um, the flowers. Next, what I'm going to do is, um, so let me set these up here. And the polishes I used to color them in was this red one. I got a Dollar General. They were $2.50. I love these polishes. And their foundation's not too bad either. Um, what is it called? Believe Beauty? Yeah, I've had Jelly Effect. I've had these on my uh, channel before. I love these. I use this uh, green. And I also used this one by Essie. Which is Unwrap Me 1603. 
Let me see, do these have names and colors? Yeah, this one's called Serene. And this one is called Rouge Verit Veritable. So there's the names. I'll just show you real quick. And then here's the SC one. That's the one I did with the flowers on the one. Actually, I stamped with it too. So, and it came out pretty good. So it works both ways. And again, I'm just using these color alike and these Nicole Diary um, stamping polishes. So next I'm gonna go in with, let's see here. Which one should we do next? Let's do this school bus right here. Yeah, it's fine. So here is our school bus or whatever it is with the um, our little hippie bus with the flowers. Next, let's go in with this mic right here. swatch so now I'm just gonna color these in and uh, oh yeah and I also use these to color in the these J polishes that I got from like our local beauty store it's not even a beauty store it's like a junk shop but metallic silver beige silver and nothing else metals they're just J polishes. They were like dollar polishes. Like I said, it um, it's got clothes and beauty makeup and beauty stuff. It's got a little of everything, but yeah. So yeah, let me color these in, and again, I will be right back. Colored in this one. That was the microphone with. I don't know, daisies, sunflowers. So that's how that one came out. And here is the one with the bus. And that's how that came out. It seems like every time I push play, I get an email or a message that dings my iPad. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know. It's just the luck, I guess, that I got when it comes to that. I guess we'll do this one. So let's put some foil glue on here. And then we will do what other one? Let's see if this one's already tacky. Okay, that dried pretty fast, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this one on. So here's how that one came out. Okay, let's get that one out of the way. I don't know, is this one still kind of... I guess it's dry enough. I hope it is. I don't know how much of this is going to... um transfer uh oh ok 
Okay. So that one didn't work out too well. Should have waited just a little bit longer. So you know what? I'm going to redo this one. So I should have waited longer. But I am a person with like no patience when it comes to things, which is not a, a good thing. Let me see if I could get some of this up. Oh, you know what? Do I have gel on this one? I do. I did top them with gel. So, I don't get a bunch of, um, what's it called on it? Cotton stuck to it. I'm just going to use this paper towel. It's a mass its own. And my base is still good because I used the gel top coat before um, starting this and cured it. So that's... I knew there was a reason for that. And you know, it's funny. I don't always do that. You know why? Because I didn't know when I stamped it like how much of it was going to show and I didn't know if I was going to want to redo it and stamp it in a different angle. So, you know what? I'm going to do this one instead right now. So here, I'm just going to do this bird cage here right quick. So I'm just going to do these instead of two at a time, one at a time, and then I'll come back and then do the other one after I color it in. See? Every time. Most of these are like nonsense emails too. <sighs> okay. Let's see. So. Here's how they came out. Kind of like this one. So like I said, let me color these in. And I will be right back. It could also just be that my polish is running low. But I want to finish it fully up before I break open a new one. You know what? I'm going to be scraping on the side too. See? It definitely looks horrible. <laughs> you know what? Here. I'm just not having luck with this image tonight. You know what? I'm going to use a different scraper too. Sometimes these things happen. you got to try different things. Different polishes. Different scrapers. Different ways of scraping. I think I've said it in other videos, but it is true. Yeah, stamping that way is definitely not good. So, I guess we'll do it again. If it doesn't work this time, I will be coming back to it again. Because it just doesn't want to stamp nice sometimes. Okay, that's okay. The bottom didn't fully stamp, but that's fine. I could just make a line right there. But okay, so here is the image that was giving me so much dang trouble. And next, I'm going to go color it in. So that's good as I could get this image for right now. But as soon as I color that in, I will be right back. Colored in our, um, what is that, the phone booth with uh, flowers. And 
and I colored that in actually when I got the red one it's a uh, surprise and delight 1600 and it's Essie's I think this is their Valentine's Day like special one or something there was a couple of them here's the purple there's like the red You know what? They work really good as stamping polishes, too. Like I said, I did this one with the purple one. So, it worked really good. So, while that dries, I am going to... Um, I'm going to stamp this one right here. This is the one with the violin. But because I want to color the violin in black, I'm going to stamp with this um, silver polish and this isn't a stamping polish but like I say these metal polishes always work really good for stamping so once again before you go out and buy a bunch of stamping polishes see the ones you got at home so see stamp perfectly So if you go to the dollar store or you're anywhere and they have like silver like metallic polishes like this, it might work really good for a stamping um, polish. So let me color this in and yeah, I'm going to give it a couple more minutes because I don't want to have to do that one again. Um, let me color this one in and when I come back I will stamp both of them on. So I will be right back. Oops. Okay, so I colored in our violin. And the leaves didn't really have much to color in. There was a couple bare spots that I did um green, but yeah. So I decided to change my mind. So I'm going to use this one right here that I was going to use with the uh, phone booth with the roses. I'm going to use this the violin on this one because I think the silver will show up better. So let's see. How are we going to do this? So That little crease will come out once I top coat it. So here's that image. Next. So I think it should be tacky enough. So let's hope. I wish I could get all the flowers on there. They're just so beautiful, the ones on the side. Of course. They're not, um, the nail's not big enough for that. And here's how that came out. So I will um, top coat that then when we are finished. My next image will be Let's see here. We got three left. So I'm going to do this one. Okay, here I forgot what this was called. But here is um, that, the music player. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color this in right now. And bring this in. That will be drying. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I colored this one in. I don't know how good it looks. Because these kind of look like they match this, but I know that's the thing the music comes out of, so I don't know. But the other two, I think, are supposed to be like flowers with the leaves. So that's that. And I am going to go in right here with it.
Okay, it stamps nicely. Just so you know, that like little black dot right there. That's supposed to be like part of the leaf, so yeah, it's supposed to be on there. But that's how that came out. So next I am going to do is stamp this school bus right here and then it'll be that lantern. Or let me see, which one should I do? Let's do the lantern first. So I'm gonna do that one. Uh-oh, where's the stamper? Okay. Okay. Maybe it was a good thing I couldn't find the stamper immediately. Sometimes if you give it a second, it uh doesn't mush it. So that was a really good stamp. So I'm happy with that one. So I'm going to color that one in. And I'll be back. And here is the other side. So next, let me see. Well, you know what? Let me see. I don't think it's fully dry. Well, it might be. Um, what nail are we going to put that on? What's the other nail we have to do? Oh, the bus. So we'll put it on this one. So, here's how that came out. And as soon as I color that in, I will be right back. Plus, I'm also going to top coat these with some um, No White Top Coat Gel. The same one I've been using, You Are Sugar No White Top Coat. And I'm going to cure them all for 60 seconds. And then when I'm back, I will stamp this. We will uh, top coat it, gel it, and I will show you everything finished. So I will be right back. Okay, so I colored in our bus here. And here, how is it? Here, blah, blah, blah. here is how it looks all colored in. So here's how it looks all colored in. And... The foil is already dry because I did it ahead of time. So let me just stick this on here. Okay. Okay, so here is how that came out. I'm going to top coat it now, and then I'm going to um, put it in a lamp for 60 seconds. Here, let me... Stick that in there. Actually, here. So here is the here is the one with the bus and the flowers, the one we just did. The um, tape with the flowers. I like that one, but this one's my favorite. The one with the bird cage with the flowers. Then we got the lantern. The microphone. The uh, violin. Which one is this one? Oh, the camera. This is another one I like. The, um... Kind of like the old-fashioned uh, record player, 
megaphone I, I don't know what it's called um, but yeah that's that one and then here's like the phone booth like they would have in London or old fashioned phone booth but yep that's all of them so I hope you like this uh, nail art and I hope you guys have a blessed night Hope you guys had a great Father's Day. Um, hopefully, I mean, today's Father's Day. I don't know when I'll get this up. It could be a week, a month from now. Sometimes I just have them on my phone and I edit them later on. But if so, I hope you guys had a great Father's Day to all you great fathers out there. Um, and yeah, thanks for supporting me and watching my page. I just want to say thanks. And hope you like this nail set. I will put everything down in the description below if you like any of it um, the link could take you right to the page and yeah thanks again for watching hope you guys have a blessed day evening and stay safe bye